This video, we're gonna talk about the action design for Star Wars 7. I was really let down by the fighting in number seven. Here's why. Number one, they told us the guys from the raid were gonna be in Star Wars 7. If you haven't, go check out raid number one and two. They're amazing martial arts films. The choreography, it is just bad ass. So when I heard Star Wars got these guys, I'm like, oh my God, that's so cool. And to watch them hold a blaster in the movie, run around, get ratchet pulled by, you know, the, the creature just, it was just, uh, it was so bad. I could not believe that they did that. And it actually kind of makes me worried about Donnie Yen being in Rogue One. If you're gonna hire these amazing badass martial artists, Star Wars didn't hire them for their acting. They hire them because their choreography, their martial arts. So implement it, use what you bought. They spent millions on Donnie. I swear, I hope that they use it for that. That's a whole other topic. Aside from that, that was just a whole letdown on my part, watching them not do anything. The next one was Rey. I did kind of like when she was getting jumped on Jakku and she was doing her own little fight there and she's like pushing them off of her, whacking the dudes. It was pretty simple choreo. As a stunt performer, I really like to see the action shot at the person. And I understand that the scene wasn't about her. She was more in the background fighting, but that was the only time that we got to see Rey use her bow staff. I mean, they advertise her with her bow staff in every single Star Wars poster and picture and everything. That was the only time we saw it. It didn't like catch me. It's kind of like Chinese film, the Monkey King with his staff. It's like, hell yeah, that's the Monkey King. And you see him using it kind of feel. If that's Ray's bow staff, I want to see her really use it. Even if it's just one couple beat fight, boom, 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 poses with her staff like, yeah, this is my weapon. I didn't get that sense from anybody in Star Wars at all, really. Even for the matter of fact, Kylo Ren, his cross guard saber um, was this whole revolutionary thing. And honestly, I was kind of stoked to see it. I know that a lot of people were hating on it. I was really excited to see it being used, but it was, I guess you would say ordinary. It's very simple choreography. He also made his movements look very heavy. Like the saber actually weighed a lot. Maybe it did. Maybe that's a whole backstory. Maybe it's weighted because of the cross guard, but I feel like it shouldn't have looked that way per se. I really, really enjoyed seeing Finn fight though. When he got to fight against TR Adar and he fought against Kylo, it really plays to that backstory of these stormtroopers aren't these janky soldiers that run around and fire and miss and everything like that. They're actually trained soldiers. Finn is actually considered one of the most elite, top of his class. He's one of the best guys. It explains why he can still bust out a lightsaber, understand the basics of sword play, and be able to compete and fight against different people. That's awesome. That was so cool to see that. Everybody says that like the best fight was Tier 8 versus Finn. And I agree so too. But it's again, it's because the stormtrooper had finesse. He busts out the baton, boom. He poses, gives his line, comes in, and it's really powerful. It's intense, dish, 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 dish. And they keep going and it's short, sweet, done. But like there's emotion behind that fight. There's history. Like, oh dang, maybe they knew each other. Maybe they trained together. Maybe they grew up together. I didn't really get that way with any other fight in the entire movie, the last fight scene. It's always hard to tell a story when you have your underdogs beat the villain, who's supposedly this badass, amazing character. I do wanna give credit to Kylo Ren for taking Chewie's blaster hit. That was something really, really cool. If you think about it, they actually really emphasize Chewie's bowcaster. He's firing and you see these stormtroopers not just get hit, but they actually go flying sometimes. They get hit, boom, and they fly back. For Kylo Ren to get shot in the torso and not go down, not die. I mean, he does do his little like, hoo, 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 and then keeps going, but he's totally in the fight. That kind of does play to his character that he's able to endure pain. He's strong, strong-willed, totally cool, I love that. But I just didn't feel that last fight scene with Ray, Finn, and Kylo. As far as just the choreography, there was a lot of stabbing and burn marks. I think it was overused. I think it's important to utilize it 
a couple times, but I felt like it got a little repetitive seeing them getting cut and burned. I did like when Finn got his back cut. I thought he was dead. The angle was shot very pretty. That whole shot was, was really nice. I liked it a lot. How it was led up into it, I didn't care for that. Just that one shot, it was really cool. Again, I just don't feel like Rey could have won. There are interesting theories out there that she was able to win because of battle meditation. There's all these philosophies and little tricks that you can throw in there to make someone believe that she won for that reason, which is cool. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I always believe those things. But if I step outside of that world and think just as a filmmaker, just as an action designer, I'm looking at just the fight piece. The whole fight just didn't feel right to me. It's cool. I think the, the thing that I'm most upset about is the raid guys not really doing anything. I hope that maybe they did shoot something and it got scrapped. And maybe we'll get to see deleted scenes. Who knows? Let me know what you guys think about the video, what your guys' favorite fight was, if you guys liked the fighting in Star Wars 7. If you hated it, let me know, comment below. Follow us on Instagram at ForceStorm and at Noah underscore Flater. And don't forget to subscribe. Take care, guys. See you later.